Well, hello, folks. This is Bill at Bill Radic Outdoors. Me and Lincoln's been trying to get to the river for three weeks, and I'm gonna take that boy today if it kills me. I'm fixing to go pick up these boys, and we're gonna go to the river and try to do a little catfishing. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you right up front, if you wanna see some big old catfish caught and put it in the boat, this is the wrong place to be. You need to go check out my buddy, <laughs> Mr. Bradley Cross at BJC Outdoors. He catches some big catfish. We didn't even catch a fish, but we had a big time on the river. Come on and hang out with us. And of course, when you got boys, we you got to make a run by the DG and pick up a few snacks for the day. <laughs> I think they will prepare us. Cast out, and the first thing they did is open up the snacks. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna have enough or not. Do we need a fishing license? A fishing license? I don't think you need a fishing license. You can't drive no fish. <laughs> <laughs> Papa, do you have any advice for a young man? What do you mean, first? For like growing older, because now I'm poor, but like I want to be wealthy. Oh, well, when I was young, <laughs> I was poor, poor, poor. After years and years of hard work, I'm no longer young. <laughs> Here he is, Sawyer. He is. Okay. Come get him, Sawyer. I got one. Real. He got off. You either have him, he got off. Doggone it, broke it line. <laughs> I might have to beef up a little bit. Sawyer, where are you from again? Clinton, Missouri. Missouri. Man, that's a long ways away from here. I bet it's a different world. I bet y'all even got a few bears around there, haven't you? Yep. Yeah, we got a few. Have you? Yeah, I heard about a bear attack on the news up there. I heard that story, too. They said a man had a 22 pistol. It's all he had. And that bear attacked him, and he survived. But they said his buddy he shot in the knee didn't make out so well. <laughs> yeah, I found out I got a little problem with my umbrella. That piece of pipe that I mounted in the boat to mount it in, I'm going to have to put one up there and one over here and over there so I can move it around in the right place. The sun's out here. The shade is all behind us. <laughs> but that ain't nothing we can't remedy. I got one fishing over here on this side. I got one fishing over here on this side. I get the job of holding an umbrella so we'll be in the shade. <laughs> At least I'm in the shade too. <laughs> Folks, it's been so long since I've been catfishing, I might have forgot how. But the way I used to do it, in this little old river, is I would anchor up, uh, they'd be old tree or, or timber or something in the water. And those fish lay up in that timber. And so I get on the upstream side and drop an anchor. And I fish with this old stinky bait. And I throw it out right in front of that timber and just let it sit. And that current of the river is going toward the woods, taking that scent down to the woods. It's all about the smell. Uh, them catfish is laying up under that thing, taking it easy. And they get to smelling that stink. And, they, and it's kind of like you smelling the barbecue grill. And if he's one under there, in a few minutes, he's going to come out and check out that bait. Sorry, what are you doing, buddy? You said that would get the smell. <laughs> that might work. Lincoln, stick your foot off that side and see if it'll work. <laughs> it sounded like a good idea at the time. But would you believe, after them boys stuck their feet in the water, 
we didn't get another single bite. <laughs> Boys will be boys. There ain't nobody had much more fun than we did today. And always remember, folks, whether you work or play, I hope you have a nice day. This is Bill Reddick Outdoors. See y'all.